first and foremost, let me just give God thanks um, because even though this COVID-19 thing is just going on, like, I remember last year in the summertime before this whole COVID-19 even chipped in, I was barely leaving my house. Like, I was struggling with some serious anxiety. Like, it was so bad. Like, my head would spin. I would be sweating buckets, like, not even joking. I would have on a shirt, and within seconds, like, my whole shirt would be wet. Um, yeah, it's summertime, but, like, I never sweat like that. Like, yeah, I had um, issues with sweating under my arm, but... It wasn't that serious and like my whole body literally took over with like sweat um i would just be projecting sweat like anything i ate would come out of my pores like um i would have trouble breathing like i had headaches constantly like my belly would feel like i'm on a roller coaster if i was like surrounded by a lot of people and basically like I don't know like I just think God is good because I came out this summer and it was COVID-19 and I was like oh, okay this year is my year you know like I have a little bit of anxiety but I'm gonna put myself out there and I'm gonna go out there and just make the best out of life and God had other plans like Mother Earth had other plans because we just got slapped with and told, like, go sit our asses down. And we got put on lockdown. And it's so funny because lockdown started right after my birthday. Like, literally, I went out the weekend of my birthday and seen them putting it all over the news that we most likely will be locked down. And by the end of that weekend, we were under lockdown. So that was crazy. But it, to me... I believe that in a way it was still my year because I was able to get over that serious anxiety that I have. Not that I don't still have a little bit when I get around the people that I don't know or a large crowd of people, but like it has gone, gotten so much better that like I could still say this year was my year and God is good because as much as he closed down the world for a bit, he also allowed us to have that time. Sorry about my tongue twisting speech here. But like he also gave us that time to be able to sit down and reflect. And like see that okay you know what. The world isn't as as bad as it, we made it seem. Because now look at this big virus that's taken over. You know what I mean. We got to start to look at things that maybe we never thought that was important you know what i mean we got to spend time with our kids you know see things about them that maybe we would have just passed over because we were so busy with the world and everything that was going on we got to build back relationships you know what i mean uh develop an understanding of people because we had to stay inside with them we didn't have a choice you know what i mean they were in our face whether we wanted it or not um to me um, it, this helped with my self growth because I was able to see the things in myself that I needed to acknowledge. Um, I was able to see the things in my family that I needed to acknowledge. And when I say this, I mean when you reach a certain age in life, you understand a certain position in life, you know that, okay, this is who you are. And when you realize that, you also have to re understand that the people who are out there, whether they're older than you, younger than you, if they're grown, they're also who they are. And your job as a family or a friend is not to change that person, but to love that person for who they are, which means sometimes they might do things or say things that you necessarily don't like. I'm not saying put up with it or be depressed or whatever the case may be, but put yourself in a position where what their actions don't affect you or you can limit the effect that it has on you without having to deteriorate the way the person is or judge them for who they are because they're already a person they're already who they are you know what i mean communication is very important as well i've learned that because i have a um daughter there she just turned five um end of july and she's all about communication if you don't communicate with her you'll feel like you and her are always at having a fight 
but the simplest communication you give her and she's so humble and she's so quiet and respectful that like people are like oh this is a different child but realistically all it took was communication okay so i just want to just leave that note with you guys and um just state my opinion on that i just got up and those words just came to my mind so yeah